Happy days, my fantastic friends. Right, we're back in the studio and we've got a big black canvas. I've primed this canvas in acrylic primer, black acrylic primer, and allowed that to dry completely. And then I've taken some uh, some transparent colors. You probably can see a few of those on, on, on camera. Uh, we've got Indian yellow, we've got magenta, and we've got Prussian blue up there. And down in the bottom, we've got a, a Viridian green going into a bit of magenta and some uh, some Indian yellow down here. I'm gonna do a nice little seascape. Okay, so let's take a fan brush and we're gonna have like a sunset sort of scene and I'm gonna take the fan brush into just titanium white. This is a, uh, a number, number four fan brush and we're just gonna start here, just on the horizon line. I've put a little bit of a masking tape, you probably can see that there. I hope you can see that. A little bit of masking tape right there. Um, and that will just give us a nice little straight horizon line. Okay, and we're just gonna start here and very delicately, little tiny, tiny sideward strokes. We're just gonna put in the indication of the base of some clouds. And then just widen the strokes as we get higher and higher. And we're gonna hit all the different colors till we get right to the very top. Just like that. And when you get to the top, you don't wanna bring that blue paint down into the yellow paint. So I've got a little bit of blue there, right on the end of the paint brush. So all I need to do is just wipe it off on a paper towel and then just reload the brush and we'll go again. So we'll start here. Tiny strokes to start with, just sideward, just rocking like this. And then making his way up, getting bigger and bigger as we get towards the edge of the canvas. Wipe off the excess, start again. And we can start. We don't always have to start right at the bottom. We we'll start there. And this magenta is such a, a lovely, fantastically warm colour. Now that you can take back into the yellow. I'm going to do one up here. Just like so. Hitting the blues now. Like that. And just rock them from side to side. And a bit more up here. And then we'll come back and blend all this. Just a bit more in here. Just little rocking motions. Just with titanium white. And the colours just jump out on you on this. Okay, we'll put another one in here. Look at that. Gorgeous colours. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Some more up here. Right. There we go. Looks crazy, doesn't it? Okay, let me wipe the brush. Okay, just gonna wash the brush off. In odorless thinner, and then just draw it across a paper towel. Right. There we go. Right, let's take a clean, dry big old two inch brush and we're going to start in here and we're just going to blend so just making little x strokes crisscross strokes swooshy strokes whatever and then just blend this out and because we primed the canvas and then allowed that to dry and then put on the transparent colors We get all these kind of beautiful effects when we come up here and blend them all out, blend them together. 
Now what I mean by a transparent colour, if the colour, when we put it on the canvas, still appears quite dark, I've got transparent colour down here, but it still appears quite dark, that's transparent enough. Because we've used white, white is a very opaque colour, very opaque, and if, which means you can't see through it. Okay, let's go all the way across that. There, and that will give us a nice little sunset. Just blend it all together. Looks kind of, looks kind of mean already. It looks kind of neat, doesn't it? There we go. Right. Let's take off this this little rising light. Okay, get rid of the tape now. When I put the tape on, it's kind of dry under there. So I'm going to take some of the colours that we had before and just go right up to the horizon. Now the horizon line is just below halfway. You don't ever want to have an horizon line dead on centre because that just distort the eye. Same if we're having a focal point, like down here, the warm colours down here, we don't want dead in the centre, we want them slightly to one side. And if I get attacked by moths or mosquitoes tonight, it's because it's dark outside, you see, and uh, they're coming in because of the light. Okay, so we can just blend that up there, like so. Like that, right. Fan brush, same fan brush that I used, just cleaned it off. And I'm gonna go into some white paint. Now I'm gonna put down my major wave, the big wave, and I think it's gonna go here. So I'm just going to take it there and just blend it back. And that's what it's gonna be, look. You can see the greens already, okay. And we're going to have like a, a, an eye in the wave and, and it's going to crash over like so. We'll probably have a stone here or something like that. Okay. Right. Let's wash the brush. There we go. Now if I keep moving back, it's because I'm scared that the camera is going to go off. Nope, we're fine. Yep, just double checking. <laughs> memory, memory cards and all that lot. Okay, right. White paint, filbert brush, little bit of cad yellow, just a tiny touch of cad yellow. And we're gonna screw this in, in here. Just screw that in. And it'll pick up all those wonderful colors underneath as well. But this is going to be what they call the transparency of the wave or, or the eye of the wave just in there i can make this quite bright so wash the brush dry it off a bit more white and yellow mixed together and come back in again and the more times you do this the brighter this will become you never want to take a dirty brush into this wave here, into the eye of the wave. And you can feather this out if you so wish. There, wash the brush again. I think I'll do that one more time just for just for old times sake. Okay, yellow and white. That's all it is. Yellow and white. We'll add a bit more in there just really push the paint into the fabric really push the paint into the fabric right again wash the brush dry it on a paper towel right take a clean dry clean dry two inch brush and we're just gonna it is dry it is and we're just going to swirl this about and just blend that all the way back ok 
game, I can grab that and pull and think about the wave. There, like so. Right, I'm just gonna set that brush down to one side. Fan brush again, where's my fan brush? One of them. Okay, I'm gonna take a tiny touch. Tiny touch of liquid white. Not much, not much at all. Mix it in with some titanium white. And we're gonna come over here. And we're just gonna crash this wave over just like so and, and colour really stands out on this on this dark this black canvas yeah just gonna have a big crashing wave just there like so just blend it back Okay, I'm going to put some, as we've got that white paint on, we can feather this back, there like so. And now we can start working on the waves in there. Just bear with me. Yep, we're still recording. I'll probably try and edit these out, but I don't like to edit these kind of paintings. I want to do it all in one go for you. I don't want anyone thinking I'm doing any trickery of the camera or anything like that okay so <laughs> like I can do that I can't even hang up sometimes okay right so a bit of white paint and there and another one there like so Now let's take a clean dry fan brush and all we're going to do is blend this back and think of the trough, the trough of the wave. And the fan brush does wonderful, wonderful things. Think of the angles of the wave, the trough of the wave. There, like that. We'll grab some of this take this back but you need that white paint on there just to make this happen and then this final one there, there we go right we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere now we can start just by, I'm going to take another tiny bit of really thin titanium white paint and just come in here and just where the horizon line is, just below the horizon line, we're going to just start scrubbing in some more little shimmers that are back here. This is a wonderful, colourful painting, you know. Really is. I got a few in here. We're going to have some splashes, obviously, up here. A few more. We could even do this with a knife, if we so wish. Right, I'm going to wash that brush. An odorless paint thinner. Okay, script liner brush, and I'm going to get some paint thinner and that light yellow paint that we made for the eye. And I'm just going to put a few indications out here. Just a few. Not many. I do with this and now took the canvas. <laughs> there, like that. Just so it gives a bit of a yellowish glow. Right. 
Let's work on this big old weight. All right, so let's take, let's take, let's take some magenta, same as the sky. In fact, I think I see something. Do I see it? Mm -mm. We may come back to that. Just pure magenta, and I'm just gonna push up This would be the shadow of the splashing. There we go, we've broken the horizon line. I like to see that. I like to see that in a, yeah, in a seascape. Yeah. Put it down there as well. Such a colourful painting. I like vibrant, bright colours. few more just under there like so right let's swill this brush off check on the battery we're sound <laughs> we're sound we're sound as a pound that's around you Okay, so titanium white, straight titanium white, lots of it into your fan brush. Don't be stingy with the paint. Okay, let's come up here and let's just push. Push, 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 push. If you get a little bit of a dirty brush, just wipe the brush. I'll clean it, it's up to you. Just work yourself around like so. Yeah, just all the leaves in your fan brush. Basically, use just the fan brush for this painting so far. There, like that. Okay. And a bit more. That is a big crashing wave, isn't it? Big old crashing wave. Okay, set the fan brush down. I'm gonna take a two inch brush and I'm just gonna to touch the top of the magenta and the base, just the base of the, uh, the titanium white. I'm just gonna bring them together. way up look at that that's so colorful yeah even though it's a dark canvas you'll need your sunglasses for this one folks yeah, like that yeah. right let's just beat that one up now, I just, if I've got a little tiny bit of paint on, I just rattle the brush about, then that saves the old cleaning procedure. Right, I think what we're going to do is put a big stone there. So I'm going to take some brown, which is some Van Dyke brown. No, in fact, I'm using sap green into that as well. And... Uh, and a lizard crimson and then we're going to come up here and just scrape in a big stone there like that something that is crashing against big stone big rock a bit more paint Just down like so. There we go, there we go. Happy days, happy days. Right, a bit of white paint, a bit of that same brown. 
bit more white paint. Mix it on the palette. I'm going to chuck a tiny bit of bright red in there as well. We're getting crazy with the colours, aren't we? We're getting crazy with the colours. Put off your little roll of paint, as we would do a mountain, and then very very delicately, very delicately, very delicately, very I keep wanting to say, very delicately. There we go. We got there in the end. Just touch. Very light touch. Just very gently touching. Very gently. Look at that bright red popping out of that. Yeah. A bit more down here. Like that. Now you can, if you don't want to use all these multicolored paints, you can just take this to the, the grey sides as well. This in grey is absolutely a fantastic, fantastic painting to do. Okay, a bit more on there. there. And you get all these kind of multicolours by not over mixing the colours on the palette. You mix the colours far too well on the palette, you won't get all this sort of all this sort of uh, breakages of colour and different colours. Yeah, you could even put a stone there like like that. Yeah, good stuff. Right. Now what we can do is take a let's just take some liquid white on the script liner brush. Maybe a bit too much liquid white there. I'm just gonna reaffirm that edge. Just like that. And I'm twisting the paintbrush as I'm going. Get some more. And you can take, and I'll make all sorts of little breaks in the, in the wave, the trough of the wave. The less paint you have on your paintbrush, you'll end up with like a more greener colour because it's picking up that, that under colour. Maybe one or two on here. See, that looks quite bright now. That's alright, because that may happen in the sea. But if you don't like it, what you can do is just blend that out. And just put all sorts of little foamy things that are happening in the water. Just like that. And think about the shape of the wave, troughs of the wave. You're going to get a big shadow area and a nice bright light area down in here I'm gonna get all kinds of different different foamy effects now like so But unlimited time I am when you've got unlimited time you could put all kinds of little details and just live in your paint brushes all you're gonna do is just set them free just set them free see I don't like that light spot there so we'll change that change that in a moment just put a few here and there there and here and that 
so. Just roll them off your fan, uh, off your screen brush. Yeah. Right, let's change that bright spot. See, if you have it too bright here, it's distracting your eye from the focal point. Okay, let's get a clean little fan brush. And all I'm going to do is just blend it in. It'll go away. It'll become part of the painting. All you've got to do is just blend it away, just like that. That easy. That easy. Right, now let's work down here. Okay, so palette knife. I think if we just take some pure titanium white, let's get rid of that thin paint. See, the paints we use are very, very firm. We put the, you know, the, the thinner paint up there, and then we can paint on top of that. But you can't put thin on thin on thin on thin. So you need nice firm paint. So I'm just gonna scrub in with a palette knife. Really pushing some pressure. I'm bending the knife. I'm bending the knife as I'm going. Oh wait, to nothing. Another clean dry fan brush. Got several of uh, the fan brushes, and I'm just gonna, like before, just feather that back. Just like that. Just feather it back. Working on the shape of the wave. A bit more here. like it's crashing against that wave, against that stone. All the values of the paint that we've put on before will stay in the canvas, you see. So we could rub forever, it, they'd still be there. In, in various in various forms because as we said before titanium white is a very opaque color let's just pull that back there we go i'm just gonna try just wipe that excess off there and just take a tiny bit in fact i'm gonna get a smaller brush i want to really sneak into this area where's my small brush I'm just gonna sneak in with a bit of midnight black. I'm just gonna to touch just there. Really give it a dark shadow. Don't know if you can see that. It's just there. There, like so. So there we have it, a big massive seascape. Okay. Did you enjoy this one, my fantastic friends? Please let me know if you're new around here. Why not hit that subscribe button? You know, or give me a nice big thumbs up. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do. Tell me if you enjoy it. Tell me if you don't. I'm just going to take a bit of blue, and then you can just put some of these foamy things that are just slightly in shadow. One or two here and there. Thinking of the shape of the wave as it's crashing round. And again, that will pick up the colour as well. That's on the underside. There we have it. And the evening. Evening. Water. Water scene. 
seascape. Right, put the paint thinner, bit of bright red. And I think oh, we'll sign this one just here. Usually I go for the right hand side, but if there's nothing happening over here, I'll do it over there. Okay, thanks for the, for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know how we've gone on this one, my fantastic friends. And until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe, and as always, happy days.